thank you for coming out here and being senior night here in Hart, Montana, here at the Dog Pound.
Okay, we're doing a latency check here. Ed, tell me when you hear this. Three, two, one, go. All right, Panther Live listeners, we are just getting ready for our radio setup. We had senior night here at the Harden Gym. That delayed us just a little bit. I want to remind you that Panther Live is brought to you by Jumpstart Espresso. Visit Jumpstart in Belgrade at 501 West Main for your espresso needs as well as Taco Time. Thank you, Taco Time, for your support of Belgrade High School for the past 33 years. And finally, Yellowstone Vacations. For snowmobile and snow coat trips into Yellowstone National Park, visit YellowstoneVacations.com.
Have your attention, please. Please stand. Remove your hats. As we have the presentation of the colors by the Heart of Cheerleaders. The singing of our national anthem by Mr. Riley Ramsey. Harden High School regular season finale for the Belgrade Panthers. Got the girls game up. First we had senior night here at Harden. This is Nate Parsegan. Joining me on the broadcast is Andy Demjanovic here on the Ty Elliott State Farm Insurance pregame show. Andy, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, good to be out tonight. So, uh, Andy, what can you tell us about this matchup before we get into our Sarah Fowler interview? Well, uh, Belgrade comes in tonight and they lock in the second seed for the Super Divisional out of the Central and Harden locks in the third seed, so this is just a preface of what's going to take place next week as we will face Harden again next week. Uh, Belgrade comes into tonight's contest ranked 15th in defense and 9th in offense, scoring 47 points per game. Harden comes into tonight's contest 6th in defense and 4th in offense, scoring about 57 points per game. Right now, uh, Harden girls crack the top five rankings uh, as number five right now. Uh, they come into tonight's contest 12 and three, uh, and they'll have to uh, kind of see how what they can do against Carissa Duchesne, who's averaging 17.6 per game. Again, we're going to get to a Sarah Fowler here interview soon. Just to remind you that this pregame show is brought to you by Ty Elliott State Farm Insurance. Don't think about retirement, plan for it. Call Ty Elliott State Farm in Belgrade at 388. 3178. Let's go ahead and step aside and listen to Coach Fowler. This was just moments ago. Go ahead and play it there, Andy. Coach Sarah Fowler. Uh, Coach, uh, what, what's the status of uh, Gabby Weber right now going into the next couple weeks here? She's been uh, doing some training with Matt Hoskins, double twice a day. Um, she's looking pretty good. She said it feels pretty good. So she's not obviously playing tonight, but she's um, good to go hopefully by Thursday of next week. Okay. How, how have you assessed your, your team without her? I know when you lose a score, it's always tough, but uh, 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 how, how can you assess that? Well, I feel like she doesn't just score for us. She, you know, she defends well. She gets a lot of steals, assists. She runs the floor well. You know, there's she just does so many good things. So that first game against Manhattan, I felt like we were still struggling to kind of figure out, okay, who's going to step up here and, and the emotions of senior night and all of that. So um, when we played Jefferson, though, I thought Bailey Christensen stepped up. She's had a career high. So um, we've just had these little bits and pieces of people. Hannah's played two great games without Gabby in. So, you know, we're just hopefully tonight kind I can get back on track. You know, she's been struggling with her shot a little bit. So we'll see how it goes tonight. 
All right, we are ready for tip. That was Belgrade head coach Sarah Fowler. As we are now prepared for tip, this is again the girls game between Belgrade and Harden. For the Panthers, it will be Christensen up against number 23, Iru. And Belgrade's going to control the tip. It goes to Hohenstein to send it now. Send it on the wing. Gets it to Reed. Now Gies. Hohenstein with it up top. First possession here for the Panthers. Picks up her dribble, looking for a teammate. Finds Gee. Yeah, Harden starts in man pressure tonight, Nate. Trying to bring as much pressure to Belgrade as possible here. We'll see uh, how, how uh, the girls handle it tonight. Hohenstein for three. Bam! Bam! Great Good. start by Kaya. 3 nothing Panthers here. So I got to update my scoreboard on Panther Live for you guys. Yeah, Panthers. great start by Kaya. She... Uh, uh, has been deed up pretty well by the last couple teams. Uh, she comes into tonight's contest scoring 11.6 per game, and uh, without uh, our other added scorer, Gabby Weber, who's averaging about 13 a game, that helps if she gets off to a quick start, and she does. So great job by Kaya, great job in finding her. Uh, Panthers up 3 nothing with seven minutes to go. Yeah, so Harden with the ball right now. Driving baseline going in is plenty. Misses, gets her own rebound, goes up again and is fouled. So she will go to the free throw line here. That was Arena Plenty, the senior for Harden, who's going to the free throw line here. Panthers ahead, 3-0 early on in this one. 7-0-1 to go here in the first quarter. Free throw on the way, misses. Again, senior night here. Festivities before the game slowed the tip down a little bit, but a festive night here in Harden. A full pack gym right now for this girls game. Yeah, only a 41% free throw shooter coming to tonight's contest, but she knocks down the second one. She's averaging just over four points per game. Full court press here for the Panthers. They break it to Sendin right now on the block, pulls it back out, finds Gee. Gee in the wing, three ball on the way, misses short. Hohenstein tries to save it, but she is out of bounds. So it will be Harden ball here. Duchesne brings it down the floor. You'll hear, hear her name quite a bit tonight. Now driving in, kicking back out to Duchesne. Jump shot on the way, misses, getting her own rebound. Hook shot up and in, tie ball game, 3-3. So Duchesne gets her first points tonight. She comes in tonight's contest at Nate, averaging 17.6 a game. Meanwhile, a turnover on the other end. Panthers give it up. Hardy coming with it now. Right hand kicks it out. Jump shot from Plenty on the way, misses. Rebound, Kaya Hohenstein. Up ahead now to Sendin. She's all alone, left hand up off the glass and in, and she is fouled. So Ashley Sendin, I believe, is going to get an opportunity here for a three-point play. Yeah, and that's what we can't do tonight is turn the ball over. But as you can see, uh, the game Harden plays, they'll come in transition to actually shoot jump shots. And, and there they, they got the jump shot that they wanted in transition. Harden misses. We come down and get an end one. So great play by Ashley Sendin, three-point play. Yeah, Sendin hits the free throw now. 6-3 Panthers early on in this first quarter. Plenty with it now on the right wing. Three-pointer on the way for Harden. Misses off the back iron, no good from Iru. Rebound to the Panthers, Christensen. As Hannah Gee will get it. She's going to be trapped in the backcourt, gives it away. Stolen away, this is Duchesne with it now. Duchesne goes in, jump shot up. Misses rebound, Christensen for the Panthers. And now Maya Reed's going to try to dribble out of the pressure. She's going to find herself trapped in the backcourt as well. Gets it to Gee. Yeah, Gee. You, you can just handle Not the pressure here, Nate. Court. You can just handle the pressure here. You're going to be okay. you, you got to want to be pressured in this situation, actually. It's kind of fun because, as you can see, Ashley Sennon took took full advantage of that. So if you rebound, you'll get fouled. And if you uh, control the basketball and, and uh, just attack the pressure, you'll be okay. But you can't play into the pressure. Panthers beat the pressure, but then turn it over. So Duchesne with it now for the Bulldogs. 5-14 to go here. Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard reads Bulldogs 3, Panthers 6. And Harden with the ball right now is Hardy up top. Drives in, goes right hand up and under, misses, but she is fouled. So she's going to go to the free throw line here to shoot two with 5.04 to go in this first quarter. Yeah, third turnover there by Belgrade already, uh, Nate. But uh, luckily we have uh, handled the pressure a little bit, so we still have the three-point lead. But the Bulldogs go to the line here to shoot two. First free throw is on the way and good from Hardy. So now 6-4 to four on the Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard. Panthers on top. 
Second free throw misses, rebound Christensen. Great rebound by Christensen, good box out, way to control the basketball, and now Belgrade can bring it up the floor. Hohenstein loses her footing, but gets it to Gee. Now inside, this is Senden with it, double teamed on the block, kicks it out to Reed. Reed, lob pass inside to Christensen, goes up with it and fouled, misses the shot, but Christensen's gonna go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, nice play there by Belgrade. Uh, what I like about Ashley too is even as she gets the ball, uh, she's been pressured and double teamed there and uh, she's very fundamentally sound in turnover, pivots well, uh, gets out of the double team and makes a good pass to Maya Reed up top. Maya Reed dumps it over the top there to uh, Christensen who has a one-on-one -on -one high low and uh, they execute there and have a shot at free throws. Christensen misses the first free throw, so still 6-4 Panthers on top. Second free throw is on the way and is good. So now 7-4 Panthers up. Duchesne's gonna bring it down the floor here for Harden. No pressure, Gee picks her up right at midcourt. Calling out a play. Duchesne crosses to her left. Gets it to walks over ice. Now pass inside to Hardy off the glass and in and fouled. So Hardy's gonna go to the free throw line for a chance at a three point play here. Nice play there by Harden. Yeah, Hardy, very aggressive uh, basketball player there, Nate. The contact and she does. And, uh, Gets the end one. She converts, so we have a tie ball game now. 7-7 with under 4.30 to go here in this first quarter as the ball is out of bounds. Last touched by Harden in this full court pressure. Panthers experiencing this full court pressure. It's uh, got to him a couple times with a few turnovers here as Maya Reed looks to inbound it. She gets to Christensen. Christensen up across midcourt to Reed. Reed triple teamed on the block, loses the handle, scramble for it. Looks like Harden's going to come up with it, and this is Hardy ahead the other way, crossing midcourt, pulling it back out and slowing things down. Gets it to Deshane. Deshane thought about the three, gets it back to Hardy. Hardy drives in left hand, kicks it out baseline. Going up with it now, missing off the front iron as the Bulldogs. Kaya Hohenstein grabs the rebound, and she's going to bring it down the floor herself. you got to be careful here whether you're in transition or offense, Nate. You can't dribble to nowhere and get caught as Maya Reed got trapped the last possession. Kai kind of picks up her dribble there, gets trapped up top, but gets out of it. Uh, shot up and no good by Bailey Christensen, but it's blocked, still Belgrade possession there. But you got you got to dribble with a purpose against a team that likes to trap, press, uh, and bring pressure and run. So you got to be very effective. You don't put yourself in bad positions to turn the ball over. Ball out of bounds under the basket. Panthers ball, Lexa Deming will inbound it. She throws it to no one. Turnover here to Hardy. Hardy up ahead. Misses, it's blocked by Kaya Hohenstein. Nice out block of bounds. by Kaya, absolutely nice block. No contact there with the long arm. She goes over the top and gets the block shot. We have a timeout taken on the floor. Let's stay right here. I want to remind you that tonight's game is brought to you by Town & Country Foods. Save cash at Town & Country Foods, serving your local communities. And we've got a great atmosphere here at Hardin High School. Packed house here on senior night. Looks like our uh, Panther Live broadcast is doing pretty well. I know we got some Harden viewers listening in, as well as our uh, 93.7 KBOZ listeners back in the Gallatin Valley. Thanks for tuning in tonight. 3.47 to go here, first quarter. Uh, Belgrade 7, Bulldog 7. Loud and proud there. They got the old dog pound going, Nate. Coming out of this timeout, it will be Harden's ball. Andy, did you see who took that timeout? Was that uh, Coach Fowler that took that? I want to make sure I have my scoreboard updated here. I checked down there. I think she might have been, yeah. Inbounded here. Duchesne, three ball on the way. Misses, rebound to Harden. Back up and in and good for number 23, Iru. Two-point lead now for Harden with 3.30 to go in this first quarter. Deming up ahead to Gee. He back to Deming across midcourt. Nice cut inside from Hannah Gee off the glass. Misses. Rebound Hohenstein. Hohenstein fouled up top near the three-point line. I believe this is just going to be on the floor. Yeah, easy call there for the official. Kaya protects the basketball and then gets just completely ran into there. So great job by Kaya. So Christensen here will inbound it for the Panthers. Gets it to Deming. Deming finds Hohenstein. Hohenstein looking for a screen up top, dribbles in, pulls it back out, picks up her dribble, finds Deming on the left wing. Now in the corner to Hannah Gee. Gee dribbles out of the corner, picks it up now, double team, gets it to send it on the low block. Now inside, Christensen up nice off the pass. glass and fouled. 
So Bailey Christensen is going to go to the free throw line. Opportunity to shoot two here. I like the way Ashley Sennon's playing tonight, Nate. Uh, very, very collected and calm, making good decisions with the basketball. Whether she takes the shot, she got the artery of three-point play early on, and she helps out of the double team there and finds Bailey Christensen down low. And uh, Bailey hits her first free throw there. So first free throw good. Tonight's game brought to you by Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking, as Christensen hits both free throws to tie this game up. 9 to 9, 2.55 to go here, first quarter. Duchesne gets it to Hardy. Inside pass here to five. Loose ball on the floor. We have a jump ball called as Hannah Gee gets down on the floor and ties it up. And with that, the possession arrow in favor of Harden. So it'll be Harden's ball here with 2.44 to go in this first quarter. Hardy with it, pump fake. Cross court pass, no one there. So out of bounds, Belgrade ball. They'll face a full court press here, though, in a tie ball game in this first quarter. Again, this is the girls' game. We'll have the boys' game after about a 20-minute intermission when this one concludes as Belgrade looks to break this press. Alexa Deming picks up her dribble just before midcourt, gets it across to the Gee. That's what we talked about there. Can't put yourself in deficit positions there. Uh, Alexa, okay, she got bailed out there. Pulls up at half court, but... Hohenstein up off the glass. No, she puts it in with no glass. Kaya Hohenstein, nice little jump shot on the baseline, making it 11 to nine, Panthers. It's good, like we said, to get Kaya going early on, and uh, she's taking some great shots already, and she's playing with some energy and an intensity, and it's good to see five points here early on for Kaya. Jump shot for Harden, misses. Alexa Deming rebound, gets it to Gee. Gee trapped in the backcourt, gets it up to Deming. Deming. Picks up her dribble, gets it over to Gee across midcourt. Sending with it now on the right wing. Guarded by Duchesne, picks up her dribble, gets to Hohenstein. Hohenstein now trapped up top. Gets it on the high post to Christensen. Back to Hohenstein, now Gee with it. Gee dribbles around the perimeter. Gets to Hohenstein, thought about the three. Pass inside Christensen, nice pass to Sendin on the baseline. Sendin looking for a teammate, pulls it out into the corner. Gets it back into Christensen. Christensen, nice pass on the block to Gee. Gee is fouled, so Hannah Gee is going to go to the free throw line here and shoot two. Again, Panthers leading in this one, 11 to nine with 126 to go here in this first quarter. Great execution there by Belgrade. Great ball movement, uh, great movement off the ball. They get the post up with Bailey and uh, girls are moving to open spots and there Bailey gets the post up and then uh, get, gets uh, double teamed there and she finds uh, Hannah on the back side. So she hits her first free throw there as well. Yeah, Gee hits the free throw. So now 12-9, Panthers on top. 126 to go here, first quarter. Second free throw misses. Rebound goes to Harden. Hardy with it now. Gets it to Deshane. Inside here. In the corner now. Pass down low, five off the glass. That is Maria, five. Making the score 11 to 12. Panthers on top by just one now. And trying to get out of this full court press as Hohenstein picks up the dribble to Deming just across midcourt in time here for Belgrade. Jump shot from Gee on the way, misses. Rebound goes to Fitzler. Fitzler up ahead, under one minute to play now, first quarter. 11 to 12. Panthers on top. Iru with it, gets it in the corner to Deshane. Back to Iru on the wing. Iru drives and kicks it out to five. Now Fitzler with it up top. 30 seconds to go here, first quarter. Panthers up by one over Harden. Pass inside to five, double teamed on the block. She kicks it back out to Iru. Iru goes up off the front oh. iron and in. So Harden takes a one point lead here. 20 yeah, that, seconds to go, first quarter. That hit the bottom side of the rim and actually rolled up and over. But regardless, it goes in, she gets it and Harden takes the lead. Christensen with it, gets it to Reed. Eight seconds now left. Nice give and go pass, but the Panthers lose handle of it. Three seconds to go here, first quarter. Nick, a midcourt shot from Fitzler on the way, just misses. So that will do it for the first quarter of play. After one, the score of the Harden Bulldogs 13, the Belgrade Panthers 12. You are listening to the Belgrade Panthers on KBOZ. We will be back in one minute with the second quarter. And Panther Live is brought to you by Jumpstart Espresso. Visit Jumpstart in Belgrade at 501 West Main Street, as well as Taco Time. 
Thank you, Taco Time, for your support of Belgrade High School as well as Panther Live, Belgrade High School for the past 33 years. Thank you very much. And finally, Yellowstone Vacations. For snowmobile and snow coach trips into Yellowstone National Park, visit YellowstoneVacations.com. Yeah, so Belgrade didn't do bad there, Nate. Not, not back on radio here yet. Hang on one sec. I'm going to bring it right to you. All right, back here at Hardin High School. Andy, break down that uh, first quarter for us. Yeah, it's 13-12, but Belgrade didn't do bad. They, they had five or actually six turnovers there in the first quarter, but they're only down one. Um, I, they have some nice, good possessions offensively. They're moving the basketball actually really well. They just got to start to limit their turnovers. And right there, they turned the ball over again out of the break, and you got to take advantage of those offensive possessions. So Belgrade turns over their first possession here this second quarter. Just five seconds in here, 7.55 to go till halftime. Harden Bulldogs on top by one, 13 to 12. As Hardy has it here on the right wing, passes inside, tipped away. Fitzler, though, comes up with it for the Bulldogs. She dribbles it out, guarded by Gee. Fitzler looks to drive right hand, pulls up a jump shot. Back iron, no good. Rebound tipped around. Hohenstein comes up with it. Gets it ahead to Gee. Now all the way up ahead to Christensen, who's going to lay it in. Misses, though. Rebound oh. goes to Duchesne. No foul called. Duchesne headed the other way. She's going to go up, misses, rebound, is batted around a few times. Loose ball. Hardy comes up with it. Hardy thought about the three, gets it to Fitzler. Yeah, Bailey couldn't do anything about that last layup. Nate, I thought she got fouled there. Quite a bit of contact. Didn't protect the shooter there, but nonetheless, we're down here with Harden with the basketball with seven to go. Duchesne with it right now. Seven minutes to go till halftime. One point lead. Pass inside to five. Nice pivot step, and she lays it in. Three-point lead now for Harden, 15 to 12. Belgrade trapped in this full-court press as Hannah Gee gets it tipped out of bounds. It'll be Belgrade's ball here, still the full distance of the court to go. Yeah, this is where you're down three uh, in Harden's gym. This is where you got to handle the pressure. Kai almost turns it over there. If you can handle the pressure, you're going to be fine. You just got to stay consistent in what you do and Coach Fowler takes a timeout. Yeah, timeout here taken by the Panthers. It is a full timeout, so with that full timeout, let's go ahead and step aside for 30 seconds. You are listening to the Belgrade Panthers on 93.7 FM. We'll be back in 30 seconds. All right, back here at Hardin High School. This is the girls' game between the Belgrade Panthers and the Hardin Bulldogs. The score right now, Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard here in the second quarter reads. The Belgrade Panthers 12, the Hardin Bulldogs 15. Coming out of a timeout where Belgrade struggling to break the full court press. And uh, Coach Fowler just needed to take a breath, slow things down here, and, and talk to her team about getting across midcourt. Yeah, like you said, it, when you're playing a high-energy team who likes to full court press and... and run in transition. You just got to stay uh, consistent in your fundamentals and know what, what you're trying to do out of the full court press. And people have to be in their spots. You have to work together, shorten your passes, and screen well as they did there. They got it past half court. Hannah shoots the jumper in transition. No good. Yeah, rebound to five. Now Hannah Gee, though, steals it away. She tries to pass inside, stolen right back by Fitzler. Fitzler up ahead to Hardy. Hardy in the corner now to Duchesne. Back up top to Fitzler. Fitzler calling out the plays. Alexa Deming giving defense here to five up top here. Marie five gets it to Hardy. Now inside pass here and going up and fouled is number 23, Ayana Iru. And that's going to send Iru to the free throw line here to shoot two with a three-point lead with 6.09 to go here until halftime. Yeah, they're, they're keeping it tight. Belgrade's keeping it tight here. Now you see if we can... Uh uh, limit the turnovers here and uh, try to get a better offensive possession they, uh, as they extend the lead here to 16-12. to 12. But 
uh, to handle the pressure. It's always tough to simulate that and practice uh, a team who plays this type of basketball. Uh, what we generally used to do was play uh, six on five or seven on five uh, to try to simulate uh, that type of energy and speed and, and trying to break presses and traps out of that. Iru hits one on the second free throw. Excuse me, this is five now at the line, but Iru hits one. Second free throw. There's a foul on the rebound. It's going to send five now to the free throw line. 16 to 12. Harden on top now. 17 12. Harden on top with Marie five at the free throw line. Second shot here coming. Five's free throw is good to make it now 18 12. Extending this lead to six points. Belgrade trying to break this pressure again. Gee with it now, crosses midcourt. Trap now as she picks up her dribble, looks for Sendin, ball batted out of bounds. It's gonna be Panthers ball across midcourt here at least. As Maya Reed will inbound it here for the Panthers. Gets it into Hohenstein, back to Reed. Reed drives baseline, left hand, foul called. I believe this is going to be on the floor with 5.55 to go here till halftime. Belgrade's going to inbound it under the Harden basket. Sixteen foul there for Harden as Reed gets it inbound, turns it over though. Bitzler comes up with it and then a foul call to stop the clock again here. 5.53 to go now till halftime. Still 18 to 12. Harden on top, but a foul called against Belgrade there. Doesn't quite hurt him yet. Both teams have 16 fouls, but uh, it's going to be a lot of one on one looks like here the next five minutes, Nate. Inside pass to five. Kick back out to Fitzler. Three ball on the way. Misses. Rebound to Duchesne, and she lays it in for two. Duchesne, the senior leading scorer here for the Bulldogs, having a good start tonight as Ashley Sendin gets it to Maya Reed across midcourt. Back to Sendin. 20 to 12 now, Harden on top. Inside pass to McGinley. Turnover. Iru comes up with it. Gets it to Hardy. Hardy with it. Drives in left hand. Kicks it out to Duchesne. Duchesne slowing things down up top. Guarded by Meyer Reed. Gets it to Iru. Inside pass to Hardy. Kicks back out to Fitzler for three. In and out. Rebound Hannah Gee. Up ahead to McGinley. Belgrade on a, on a break here. McGinley goes up and the ball is blocked but out of bounds, so it's going to be Panther ball under the basket. Could have been a foul, but it's called out of bounds. Yeah, much better much better on the rebound there on Belgrade's defensive possession. You've got to secure those rebounds. If you can limit them to one shot, Nate, they can't get into that press. When they score, it just feeds their energy, as you can see. So we missed time the rebound before, but last time, Hanegi had a nice little uh, secure the rebound. Hohenstein hits the three for the Panthers, 15-12 now. It's a big shot for Kai and Belgrade to get the lead or to cut in the lead now. Uh, it's 15 uh, 20 hard, and so it cuts the lead down to five now. Big shot by Kai. Now, three ball on the other side here for Harden. Misses rebound, goes to the Panthers. Up ahead to Senden. Senden finds Hohenstein. Hohenstein on the block gets it back to Senden. Hohenstein, another three. This one on the other side. Oh. In and out. Rebound goes to Duchesne. Nice play there, though, by, by uh, Ashley Sendon, securing the basketball, passing well, giving it to Kaya. Kaya didn't have anything, and she screens for Kaya again to, to give her another shot opportunity. So that's I think it's a great role play there by Ashley Sendon on that last offensive possession. A couple new players in here for Harden. This is Alden with the ball. She gets it to Hardy. Hardy, nice move, goes up left hand and lays it in, and she is fouled. So that's going to send... Charmaine Hardy to the free throw line. Opportunity here for a three-point play with 3.56 to go here. Yeah, and she's uh, crafty near the basket there, Nate. That'll be her is. second and one. Uh, has a great feel for body positioning and, and uh, very fluid with the basketball there. As you can see, she feels the pressure goes away and just goes up and under and finishes the end one. Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard reads, the Harden Bulldogs 23, Belgrade Panthers 15, 3.56 to go here till halftime. Belgrade need to break the full court press again here. Tonight's game brought to you by Rich's Flooring. For quality, you can stand on. Belgrade breaks the press. McGinley with it, picks up her dribble, gets it to Hohenstein. Reed with it now. Looking inside. Pass thrown away. Turnover to Duchesne. Up ahead now to Alden. Alden with it on the wing. 
Gets it back out to DeShane. Slow things down here for Harden. 3.30 to go till halftime. 23-15 the lead right now for the Bulldogs as Hardy drives in, kicks it out to Alden. Three-pointer on the way, misses. Rebound tipped around a few times. Ashley Sendon's going to come up with it in the corner, throws it back in. It's going back to Alden, though, for Harden. She goes up, misses. Rebound tipped around, and as Alexa Deming comes up with it. She's triple teamed in a trap right now. See if she can find a teammate. She does. Maya Reed ahead. Reed behind the back on the block. Kicks it out to Hohenstein, to Deming. Three-pointer from Deming on the way, misses. Rebound, headed out of bounds, and Senden is unable to save it as it goes out of bounds. It's going to be a hardened ball. Yeah, Maya Reed a little bit too late. She, nice play to press the basketball, out, or press and transition out of the press, but she had Kaya wide open for that three. She just missed her, and by that time, the defense had, had um, uh, recovered in, in, off the uh, fast break. So under three minutes to play till halftime. Harden on top, 23-15, just missing that shot. Belgrade comes up the rebound, but then turnover, walks over ice, grabs it for Harden. Gets it to Rivera, and Rivera, her shot is blocked, goes out of bounds. It's going to be a Harden ball under the Panther basket. 2.40 to go till halftime. Duchesne inbounds to Alden. Guarded by Reed. Picks up her dribble. Nearly stolen away by Deming. Duchesne with it now. Pressured by Deming. 15-footer on the way. Misses. Rebound comes down to Christensen. Ball stripped away from her. And Duchesne's going to control it with 2.20 to go here till the half. Duchesne tries to spin inside. Hits the ground hard and is called for a traveling violation. This gym will not like that call as she did hit the floor pretty hard when she was tangled up with Deming. Yeah, there was a little bit of contact there, but her feet actually slipped out from underneath her, Nate, and, and, and she went flat on the ground there, and uh, people want the contact, but her feet fell, and that's what created the contact when she slipped. Panthers break the press here, sending with it across midcourt. Now to Deming. Deming trapped up top, looking for a teammate. Turnover. Walks over ice with it. Gets it to Duchesne. Duchesne at the baseline. Jump shot on the way. Misses. Rebound. Goes to Rivera. She kicks it out now to Alden. And with under two minutes to play, Harden's going to slow things down here. Thinking about a three ball, though, is plenty. Guarded by Christensen up top. Gets it to walks over ice. Walks over ice, puts in her left hand, crosses over, picks up her dribble, gets it to Deshane. Deshane going to slow things down, just retreat back to midcourt, send and given defense here. 1.35 to go here till halftime. 23-15, Harden on top. Duchesne just taking time off the clock now. Pass thrown away from Rivera. Turnover. It's going to be Belgrade ball now with 126 to go here till halftime. Needing to get out of a full court press once again. Inbounding it is Reed. Gets it to Hohenstein. Back to Reed across midcourt. Belgrade with numbers. Reed pulls up, jump shot, misses. Rebound, sending. She tries to save it, but walks over ice, comes up with it. Walks over ice now. Her pass nearly thrown away, but Duchesne comes up with it. Her 17-footer's on the way and good. 10-point lead now. If I can update my scoreboard here, and then a turnover, or near turnover, against Belgrade. I think we're going to have a foul called against Harden. That's going to send the Panthers to the line for a one-and-one -one situation. I was looking down at my score sheet while this occurred. Some fast-paced action here in the full court press with 1.03 to go until halftime. Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard reads the Harden Bulldogs 25, the Belgrade Panthers 15 as the referees are sorting things out and Bailey Christensen is making her way to the free throw line to shoot, I believe, a one and one. Yeah, the ref does signal one and one there, Nate. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bridger Orthopedic for all of life's motions. Now we are ready for this free throw. Christensen on the way. Misses back iron. Rebound goes to Harden. Alden gets it inside to Plenty. Plenty picks up her dribble. Finds Alden now. Alden behind the back. Up on the elbow, picks up the dribble. 
Gets it to walks over ice. Her pass inside is rejected by Deming, but then out of bounds. Last touch by Alexa Deming, so it will be Harden's ball. Yep. Inbounding is great. Doing a pretty good job in their man-to-man. -man. We just got to secure uh, rebounds off their misses. Three-pointer on the way from Alden is no good. Rebound, though, goes to Harden. Another three-pointer on the way. Misses another offensive rebound. No tipped away. Ashley Sendens comes up with it. Loose ball near midcourt. Alexa Deming has it now. 27 seconds to go till halftime. Maya Reed with it. Crosses over. Gets a high screen. Gets it to Hohenstein. 19 seconds now. Three-pointer on the way. No good off the back iron. Rebound. Christensen keeping it alive for Belgrade. Senden now with it up top. Gets it to Reed. Reed, long jump shot on the way. Misses front iron. Rebound goes to Harden. Just five seconds till halftime here. Hardy gets it to Alden. Long three-pointer on the way. Oh. No good. So that will do it for the first half. The score after the second quarter. The Belgrade Panthers 15. The Harden Bulldogs 25. We will go ahead and step aside for two minutes. You are listening to the Belgrade Panthers on 93.7 FM KBOZ. And for our Panther Live listeners, halftime is brought to you by Jumpstart Espresso. Visit Jumpstart in Belgrade at 501 West Main Street, as well as Taco Time. Thank you, Taco Time, for your support of Belgrade High School for over 33 years. And finally, Yellowstone Vacations. For snowmobile and snow coach trips into Yellowstone National Park, visit YellowstoneVacations.com. All right, halftime here at Hardin High School. The Hardin Bulldogs, again, the Hardin Lady Bulldogs leading the Lady Belgrade Panthers 25 to 15. Halftime is brought to you by Doc and Nelson Funeral Service and Crematory, helping families celebrate a life lived. There is a difference. My co-commentator here, Andy Demjanovic, with some analysis the first half here. I'm also going to get to uh, finish our pregame interview with Coach Sarah Fowler. But... Uh, but uh, Andy, let's go ahead and first break down this first half. Yeah, we kind of had a actually a little bit of a lead there, Nate. Um, I thought the girls came out and uh, did okay against the pressure, but uh, we are tied at the quarter, but we already had six turnovers. So the difference right now is we, uh, we got 12 turnovers, so we're on pace. If we keep that pace for 24 turnovers, that's too much. Uh, as you can see, it just creates this 10 point deficit. Um, I think our man defense is doing well. We're double teaming the right girls. Uh, some of their girls, uh, you know, Hardy has two N ones, but she's pretty crafty. But we've we've done okay defensively, and we limit some possessions to one shot. But we, on some of them, we just weren't able to just truly secure the rebound. Either it got tipped and they scored, or uh, we did get the rebound. And they trapped us, and we couldn't get out of it. And we turned it right back to them. But when we handled the pressure, you can see we we got our transition shots some. Um, some nice easy transition shots. We got to the free throw line a little bit there. I thought late when we did get transition though, that I think we took too many jumpers in transition. Um, and when you're down 10, you gotta try to get to the rim. If it's not there, then just set in your offense and try to get a better shot. 
Uh, so I think we got to limit the turnovers and then secure the rebounds after one shot and, and, and be more consistent against uh, uh, their pressure with less turnovers. I, I thought Ashley Sennett played a nice half. She wasn't like this giant scorer, but she didn't turn the ball over. Uh, mm -hmm. She found the shooters. She defended well and took care of the basketball against the pressure. And, and, and that's got to that's gotta affect in some of our other girls. So uh, we're only 10 points down, but you know if we let them get going again with pressure, it can extend that lead. Or if we just take care of the basketball, we can get fouled, get to the line, and, and cut into this lead. Sure, as you mentioned, Ashley send in there uh, getting some extended playing time with Gabby Weber being out, really stepping into the starting lineup. Uh, some hustle plays on both ends of the floor. It's been a solid player here for the Panthers, a senior finishing up her basketball career here. Let's go ahead now. We didn't get to play all of our pregame interview with Coach Fowler. So while we're at halftime here, let's go ahead and finish our pregame interview with Coach Fowler. So while Andy's queuing that, I'll get that just set up. Again, this is Sarah Fowler here in pregame. She's been struggling with her shot a little bit, so we'll see how it goes tonight. Yeah, you guys locked up the uh, two seed, I believe, in the central. So how, how do you assess tonight's game? Because it could be a possibility to play Harden again next week, correct? Okay, so what's your mindset going in a game when you have to play a team probably back-to-back? -back? Well, tonight we kind of look at it as we get to see what they're doing. You know, their best players, you know, on, on film, it's different, obviously. It's never the same. So um, see what they, they can give us. And then, you know, with Gabby back next week, it, that'll change our game plan, obviously, quite a bit. Yeah, and uh, the boys also finished their last home game on uh, Monday night as well. And and uh, to see your son uh, Dawson Fowler hit the thousand point career, and then he had the three to win it. And uh, I talked to him earlier; he's a little bit emotional there. How is it as a mom, um, not just as a coach, but as a mom, seeing that? It was awesome, and and they kept it a secret from us too, so none of us knew that was that was going to happen. So to see him kind of. Um be honored in that way because the kids worked his butt off so um, to see it appreciated and recognized is pretty awesome and and after the game then he had a pretty good meltdown <laughs> which I think I knew he was going to have because he's kind of pretty sensitive and pretty emotional about it so I think he realized his high school career was coming to an end and it, it hit him pretty hard. Awesome well good luck tonight and thank you. Thank you. All right, again, we are at halftime right now. The Lady Bulldogs leading the Belgrade Panthers 25 to 15. We've got about four minutes here left in halftime, so let's go ahead and step aside for two minutes, get ready for this second half. You are listening to the Belgrade Panthers on 93.7 FM. Back in two minutes. Once again, back here at Harden High School, the score at halftime, the Harden Lady Bulldogs 25, the Belgrade Panthers 15. Halftime is brought to you by Doc and Nelson Funeral Service and Crematory, helping families celebrate a life lived. There is a difference. We are about a minute 30 away from starting 
this third quarter. Let's go ahead and Andy break down the uh, scores here from the first half. Yeah, for Harden, Duchesne finishes the half with uh, eight points. Hardy finishes the half uh, with seven points, five with uh, uh, six points. Arrow with three points and plenty with one point, rounding it out for 25 points for the Bulldogs. On Belgrade's side, we have Hohenstein with eight. We have Senden with a three. We have Christensen with three. And we have Gee with one for a point total of 15. Right, you know, before the game, we were warned about keeping our eye on Duchesne. Um, she sure has a nice little running uh, jump shot that's hard to defend, but also, as, you, as we saw, Hardy, she's tough right hand, left hand. She's real nifty and uh, smooth with the basketball, so a really talented basketball team here at Harden. As you mentioned, Belgrade had a lead for a while and then kind of felt things slip away in the uh, late in the second quarter there, so Belgrade here as they get ready to start this third quarter looking to get back in this game. Yeah, we, like we talked about, Nate, we just got to limit the, the turnovers and do the best that we can uh, handling the pressure uh, to try to get back in this game. And sometimes, sometimes uh, people don't want to press a pressing team, but uh, sometimes you'd be amazed that uh, you can press a pressing team and, and we'll see what uh, Belgrade elects to do if they uh, just going to possession by possession cut in the lead or start to bring some full court pressure themselves, I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll see what Coach Fowler has in store for the second half. All right, so ready to start this third quarter. It will be Belgrade's ball, excuse me, it will be Harden's ball to start the third quarter. As Hardy is with it, gets it to Deshane. Three-pointer on the way. Good. Wow, big start here to the second half for Deshane. 28-15 now Harden on top. Hohenstein will try to answer with a three of her own. No good. Rebound goes to walks over ice. Gets it to Hardy. Hardy with it. Gets it to walks over ice on the right wing. Now up top to Duchesne. Thinks about it. Drives inside. Goes up. Blocked by Hohenstein. Coming down with his Iru. Gets her own rebound now. And now to Plenty. Plenty tries to kick it out to Hardy. Hardy drives left-hand baseline. Kicks it to Duchesne. Jump shot from the corner on the way. Good. It was a three-pointer as well. So make that now 31-15. Harden on top with seven minutes to go here in this third quarter. Yeah, Duchesne comes out firing the eight and gets uh, two three-pointers back-to-back for uh, six straight points. It's 31-15. And now Belgrade's got a lot of work to do. Now stolen away by Plenty. Up ahead to Duchesne. Duchesne with the left hand is fouled, so she'll go to the free throw line. This third quarter, just one minute and 15 seconds in, has been two three-pointers by Duchesne. Now she's headed to the free throw line to try to get two more. Yeah, she's looking to take over the game here, Nate, and uh, she's averaging almost 18 a game, and she's well on her way now, and she's uh, forcing the issue and shows that uh, maybe she's the best player on the court, and, and she's done that so far here in the second half. She hits the first free throw to make it now 32 to 15. Harden on top with 6.45 to go here in this third quarter. Second free throw is on the way and good as well. So quick eight points for Carissa Duchesne to start this second half. Belgrade trying to break the full court press again. Trap now, Reed with it, dribbling out. Gets it ahead to Senden across midcourt. Senden gets it to Hohenstein. Hohenstein in the corner to Gee. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound is tipped out of bounds by Maya Reed, so it's going to be Harden's ball. Yeah, good shot there by the Panthers. They actually worked the basketball. Gee was wide open in the corner. She got her feet set just off the mark. Uh, it was a good shot, and when you're down 15, you gotta take those open shots, whether they're threes or twos there. They gotta get some uh, shots up to get, try to get back into this game. Harden on top, 33-15, 6.20 to go, third quarter. Hardy with it right now for Harden. Gets it to walks over ice. Now, Iru, three-pointer on the way, misses front iron, rebounds loose on the floor. Senden comes up with it, up ahead to Christensen. Christensen is fouled. And I believe that uh, it's going to be on the floor called against Harden. So it's going to be Belgrade's ball inbound, out of bounds, inside Harden's end here. Christensen finds Gee. 
Key pass inside Christensen. Nice pass and laying it in is Bailey Christensen to get on the board here in the second half. 17-33, Panthers trail. Yeah, good news is this game doesn't count at all for each team. They're going to play right again next week at each other next week as they secured their spots. And like Coach Fowler said, it's a game to kind of get used to each player and know what each player does. Meanwhile, Iru gets inside and lays it in to make it 35-17, Harden on top. 5.39 to go now here in the third as the Panthers look to get it across midcourt to Maya Reed. Sending with it now. Hohenstein, open three, on the way. Bam! Nice job by Kaya, big three shot there. 35-20, Panthers trail by 15. 5.20 to go here in the third. Hardy with it, gets it to plenty. Plenty on the right wing, guarded by Christensen. Gets it over to Iru. Pass inside, stolen away by the Panthers. Ascendant got a hand on it, got it to Reed. Then Reed was immediately fouled. So it's going to be Belgrade's ball here in the backcourt with 5.08 to go in the third quarter, trailing 35 to 20. Belgrade showing a, a little bit of life here, Nate. We can get another possession scored. We'll Inbound it to Christensen, up ahead to Senden across midcourt. Now Hohenstein with it. She'll dribble in, kick it out to Gee. Thought about the three-pointer in the corner. Dribbles it out. Double team now. She's going to dribble it up around the perimeter. Finds Reed, but a turnover to Hardy, and Hardy will go and lay it in for two. That will make it 37-20 now. And then another turnover right back to Hardy, and Sarah's going to have to take a timeout. As Hardy gets another steal and lay in, so it is now 39 to 20. No timeout taken by Belgrade there. Gee with it, gets it to Hohenstein. Three pointer on the way. Misses front iron. Senden tries to save it. Gets it back to Hardy though. Hardy's going to dribble it down the floor. She's the star of the last 30 seconds here. Gets it to Shane in the corner for three. Oh! She is good. And Harden right now is on fire as they are ahead 42 to 20 as Duchesne hits the three ball. And then finally, a little stoppage in the action. We have a foul called against Harden. Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard reads 4-11 remaining in the third quarter. Harden, 42, Belgrade 20. Panthers inbound it to Hohenstein. Gets it to Christensen, kicked out, and then a foul called. And we have a foul called here against Harden, so it's going to be Belgrade's ball is checking into the game as Rivera. Looking to inbound it inside, stolen away by Hardy. She's got three steals in the last 30 seconds again. Now she's going to bring it across midcourt. No one's guarding her. She's going to drive right in and go up and under and in. Hardy, two more points, 44-20 now. And a whistle here as Coach Fowler is going to take a timeout for the Panthers. And Andy, we've been about four minutes into this second half, and uh, Harden's got 19 points here in the first four minutes of the second half. Well, their best player got going right away. She came out, and uh, she's hit uh, three threes. <laughs> so she's got uh, 11 points in the half already, Nate. So she's already at uh, 19 points. And, and if a shooter hits her, their first three, you really got to tighten up, and you got to have court awareness and spatial awareness. Where is that shooter? Because you don't want to let them get going, and sh we let her get going. And then, as you talked about, um, uh, Hardy, uh, just very active with her steals. We have uh, four turnovers here already, three steals by Hardy, and uh, she's got six points off those steals. So uh, that's what's extended this lead right now, and uh, Hardin and Sean, uh, their two best players are, are coming alive. And, and like you said, uh, we kind of have a uh, little bit less energy now, down 24, so uh, we, we got to try to just claw and fight and scrap and get back into the game because this is the team you're seeing next week, and and you want to leave uh, an imprint in their mind that you're not going to give up and that, that you're ready for uh, tournament play. So we'll see how the Belgrade girls respond here in the next couple quarters. Yeah, tonight's game is brought to you by First Security Bank, your locally owned and operated neighborhood bank, serving the Gallatin Valley since 1919, member FDIC. Panthers get across midcourt, Hohenstein with it, looking for uh, Senden here in the corner. Senden, turnover to Hardy. Hardy up ahead, Hohenstein on defense, goes up and draws a foul. It's going to send Charmaine Hardy to the free throw line. 
Tardy's having the game of her life right now. Hardy the senior, 5-4 guard, wearing jersey number two here for the Bulldogs. She'll go to the free throw line here and shoot. First one rolls in. So Thank she's you. got 14 already on the night. This she makes this free throw night, she'll have uh, 15. She's in averaging 10 points a game. Uh, shoots 70% from the line, so. Yeah, good player here, Charmaine Hardy. Second free throw is up and good, making it now 46 to 20. Harden on top. Panthers looking to break this full court press. Alexa Deming with it near the out of bounds mark here. Tries to get to Hohenstein and we have a foul called. This is gonna be against Harden. Yeah, and even though Harden's up 26 and eight, they're, they're still gonna press. Uh, that's the type of team they are. And they also wanna leave it in our minds that, you know, they wanna make sure that they realize, can we actually handle their pressure? And right now we can't. Carlson gets the rebound for Belgrade down low. She lays it in to make it 22-46 now. Panthers trailing on the Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard in the third quarter. Duchesne pass inside to five, kicks back out to Hardy. Now Fitzler with it. Just dribbling around the perimeter, guarded by Hohenstein. Gets it on the wing now to Rivera. Inside, stolen away. Deming comes up with it for Belgrade. Gets it to Reed. Reed across midcourt. Reed dribbles all the way in. Nice move. Left hand off the glass and good. 24-46. Now Panthers trail by 22. And that's what we got to do. We just got to focus on the process, putting energy and time into possession by possession, not look at the deficit of the 20 point lead or whatever. You still got a quarter, you know, a quarter and a third to go here. So just play possession by possession. Three pointer up and good. That was Fitzler who hit it for Harden, making it now 49 to 24 here. Harden on top with 219 to go in the third quarter. Reed with it, gets to Carlson on the high post. Carlson finds Hohenstein. Hohenstein drives right hand, goes up with it, off the glass and good. 26-49 now, Harden on top. Now we gotta get a stop. We're a little late on perimeter player shooters. Uh, uh, we've been a little bit slow getting to shooters this half and you know, uh, they hit one, Fritzler hit one. And, and we gotta, we gotta not be late on three point shots. We've got a timeout on the floor. It's a 30 second timeout, so let's go ahead and step aside for 30 seconds ourselves who are listening to the Belgrade Panthers on 93.7 FM back in 30 seconds. All right, back here out of the timeout. It's Harden's ball with 1.58 to go here in the third quarter. I got to adjust the clock here on Panther Live. 46-29, Harden on top, three ball on the way. Misses up the back iron, rebound, goes to Reed. Reed up ahead here for Belgrade. Inside pass thrown away, turnover here. It's going to be Harden ball with 1.36 to go in the third. 49-26, Harden on top. Huge third quarter here for the Bulldogs as they've got 24 points and counting here in this quarter. Inside pass to five. Three-pointer on the way for Harden. Misses the rebound, goes to herself. I don't know who that is. That was number 25. And have her on our varsity roster. Either way, we have a dead ball here and a foul called against Ashley Senden. It's going to be inbounded under the Panther basket here. Five's going to inbound it. Inside to five now. Off the glass. Misses rebound. Senden. 1-11 to play here in the third quarter. Maya Reed's going to bring it down the floor and trapped it midcourt. Gets it to McGinley. McGinley looks inside to Carlson. Pass thrown away. Turnover. Up ahead now to Duchesne. Duchesne off the glass is fouled. 
Ball does not go in, but Duchesne's going to go to the free throw line to try to extend this lead with 58 seconds to go in the third quarter. Bulldogs ahead, 49-26. Sixty viewers on Panther Live is a girls basketball record. Thanks for tuning in. Thank all of our 93.7 KBOZ listeners as well back in the Gallatin Valley. We'll have the boys game after this one, about a 20-minute intermission after this game ends, and we'll have the Harden boys versus the Belgrade boys. It's the second free throw misses, 50 to 26. Harden on top. Deming brings it down for the Panthers, gets it to Reed. Reed drives left hand, baseline, goes up. Oh, glassing in. One. Nice play. So Maya Reed is going to go to the free throw line with an opportunity here for a three point play with now 45 seconds to go here in this third quarter. As Esp comes into the game here for Harden. Reed at the free throw line, just one shot here. On the way, misses back iron. I take that back, it falls in after hitting the back iron. So now 29 to 50. Harden on top, 40 seconds to go, third quarter. Duchesne with it, near midcourt. Gets to a teammate, I don't have her jersey number in our roster here. Now to Esp, Esp with it. You gotta love that. Yeah, right? I've, I've been there before, buddy. <laughs> now, uh, with it is uh, Alden. She gets it to five. Here is Duchesne. Drives inside. Goes up with it. Misses. Rebound. Back to Duchesne. And she lays it in. So Carissa Duchesne having a big night here on senior night. Ten seconds to go here in this third quarter. Sending with it. Gets it to Deming. Up ahead to McGinley. Four seconds until uh, end of the third. Her shot misses. Rebound. Carlson. She misses off the glass, and that is the horn that will end the third quarter. So after three of the score, the Harden Bulldogs 52, the Belgrade Panthers 29. Let's go ahead and step aside for one minute. We'll be back with the fourth quarter. You are listening to the Belgrade Panthers on KBOZ 93.7 FM. And tonight's game on Panther Live is brought to you by Jumpstart Espresso. For all your espresso needs in Belgrade, visit 501 West Main Street, Jumpstart as well as Taco Time. Thank you, Taco Time, for your support of Belgrade High School and Panther Live for the past 33 years. And finally, Yellowstone Vacations. For snowmobile and snow coach trips into Yellowstone National Park, visit YellowstoneVacations.com. All right, back here at Harden High School for the start of the fourth quarter. This is the girls' game looking at the Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard. Harden Bulldogs 52, Belgrade Panthers 29. A huge third quarter, 27 points for Harden. There is Belgrade will have this first possession. Yeah, Duchesne right now, uh, Nate, has 23 points on the night. Fitzler comes up with a steal. Gets it to Alden. How many points did you say for Duchesne? Uh, 23. She's got 15 in the third quarter there, so that's the difference there. Hey, good for her on senior night, having a big night here for Harden. We'll have a rematch of this game at the uh, uh, divisional tournament just next week as Harden misses that shot. Belgrade comes up with the rebound. Hannah Gee with it now for the Panthers. To Senden. Now McGinley here bringing it back up top. Guarded by Fitzler, stolen away by Alden, but goes out of bounds, last touched by Harden's gonna give Belgrade the ball here. Alexa Deming will inbound it for the Panthers. And Belgrade finished that third quarter, Nate, with uh, six turnovers. So that was also a little bit of a factor as well. That puts them uh, at 18 turnovers for the night, currently with seven minutes to go here. And a jump ball there. It's going to give the possession arrow in favor of Harden here. 52-29, one minute down in the fourth quarter. Harden on top. Deshane with it. 
Working on Deming up top, just taking time off the clock, setting things up, gets it to Fitzler. Fitzler now to Alden. Alden, spin move inside. That was an extra step, no call. She lays it in off the glass. 54-29. Harden on top now, Carlson. Gets it to Gee, Sendin with it now on the right wing. Finds McGinley on the block. McGinley double team back up to Sendin. To Gee now. Gee inside pass. Nearly stolen away, then tipped out of bounds. Last touched by Belgrade. So it is a turnover. And it will be Harden ball with 6.28 to go in the Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard. 54 29. Harden up. Deshane taking her time, bringing it down the floor here for the Bulldogs. Gets it to Fitzler. Long three-pointer on the way. Misses front iron. Rebound Alden. Pass inside in a whistle with a foul called against Belgrade. This will be on the floor, though. No, Not a shooting foul here with 6.10 to go in the fourth quarter. Tonight's game is brought to you by the Tire Factory. Always on time. Always the right tire. Always the right price. Always the best warranty. Nice little nifty move by Alden to get it in. Then passes inside here to another teammate I don't have in my roster. She goes up and misses rebound Carlson. Yeah, McGinley there left the ball. Oh, that would Harden gets the ball back. Boy, some commotion here on the uh, Panther defensive end and finally a whistle after several turnovers back and forth. No bucket made, but with 5.54 to go here in this game. McKenna Carlson will head to the free throw line here for Belgrade. Again, 54-29, Bulldogs on top. Carlson's free throw, misses. Fitzler comes up with the rebound. Up ahead to Deshane, jump shot from the baseline, misses. Rebound, Carlson. Carlson looking for a teammate, finds Hohenstein. She's got Senden up ahead all alone. She finds her, Senden. Blocked by Alden, and then last touched by Sendin. So it will be Harden's ball with 5.40 to go in this one. Again, ahead 54-29. Yeah, McKenna Carlson giving some nice minutes there for Belgrade. Uh, did a pretty good job defending and rebounding. Got to the free throw line a little bit. Now Alden with it here for Harden. Passes inside to five. She goes up, misses. Rebound, Alexa Deming. Deming gets it to Sendin. Sendin dribbles in, picks up her dribble, finds Deming. Now Hohenstein with it on the right wing. Brings it up top left hand. Three-pointer on the way. Misses. There is a foul called, though. This is somewhere inside on that. A couple players going for the rebound. We have a foul called. Is that against Deming? Yeah, the officials got it on green. So Alexa Deming picks up the foul on the loose ball. It's going to be Harden basketball now. 5.07 to go. Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard reads. Harden Bulldogs 54, the Belgrade Lady Panthers 29 here in the final quarter. Yeah, you just got to try to do your best you can. Like we talked about earlier, five minutes to go. Just be up possession by possession, see if you can cut into this lead. Uh, make it respectable, get some momentum for next week going into practice to make adjustments and uh, get prepared to play in the Metro next week against these guys. Alden jump shot from the baseline is good. 56-29 now. Harden on top. It's tough to do though in their, in, uh, <clears throat> when a team's playing like this in their home gym. They're, they're comfortable. Uh, most shots are going to fall as we just saw that baseline jumper. And uh, just got, it's, it's tough to play in Harden. Got a stoppage in play here. Belgrade's going to have the ball under their own basket with a full court to go. Pressure here from the Bulldogs. Deming gets it in, but it's a turnover here. Now <laughs> batted around a couple more times and then out of bounds. Last touch by Belgrade. So it's going to be a hardened ball now under their offensive basket. 4.33 to go here in this game. Harden on top big right now. Inbounded to Hardy. Inside to Iru. Christensen takes it away from her. 
Hardy, though, comes up with a loose ball and then gets it out of bounds, so it's going to be Panther ball. Wow, she's quick. She's a very active player and quick hands, quick feet. She's a pretty athletic uh, young woman, and, and it shows that she has uh, 15 tonight, uh, respectively. Hohenstein finds Senden in the corner. Senden looking inside for Christensen. She's guarded, so gets it back into Hohenstein. Now inside to Christensen over the top. She's fouled as she goes up with it, so this will send Bailey Christensen to the free throw line. Bailey Christensen here, the free throw line, and coming out of the game for Harden and getting a standing ovation is Arena Plenty, a 5'8 senior. I think we'll see one by one the seniors here for the Bulldogs check out of this game as Christensen misses the first free throw. 56-29, 4 11 to go, fourth quarter, Harden on top. Got a violation here in the lane against Belgrade, so it's going to give the ball to Harden here. No baskets there on the free throws. Hardy crosses over. Three-pointer from Rivera on the way, misses. Rebound, Christensen, ball kicked up and out of bounds. It's going to be Panther ball. And it looks like Harden's backing out of the press now as they have a pretty comfortable lead here up on uh, the Panthers, 56-29. Hohenstein with it. Christensen now gets it back to Hohenstein. Now driving in and going up and hitting that jump shot. Andy, who's that on our roster? I don't That'd have be, our... Uh, uh, Jaden Blakely. Jaden Blakely there for the Panthers getting varsity action. Sorry, I don't have the Panther roster in front of me because I know all our girls, but Jaden Blakely there, a new face here on the varsity floor for the Panthers, gets that well, jump you, shot to go. You were busy having a baby last week. She got moved up after Gabby went down, and I should have told you about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Thank, you know, when you, when you have a baby at home, you, something happens. You go in the twilight zone and don't know what's going on. As this ball goes out of bounds here, and it's going to be, I believe, Harden's ball with 319 to go in the fourth quarter. Harden on top, 56-31. Inbounded to Hardy. Gets it to Rivera. Back to Hardy. Walks over ice now. Three-pointer on the way. Misses. Rebound Christensen. To Deming. Deming crosses over, goes up, foul. I believe this is going to send Alexa Deming now to the free throw line. Again, tonight's game is brought to you by Town & Country Foods. Save cash at Town & Country Foods, serving your local communities. Deming is no good on that first free throw with 3.01 to go here in this game. Second one on the way is good. 32-56 now. Harden on top, under three to play in this one. Iru with it on the left wing, guarded by Hohenstein. Puts it on the floor, picks it up again. Finds a teammate, it walks over ice with it up top. She gets it to five. Marie Five with it. Gets it back to the walks over ice. Now here's Iru. Drives right hand in the key. Goes up off the glass and in. 58-32. Nice move there by Iru. Meanwhile on the other end, Panthers here. Blakely with it. Drives left hand. Goes up and is fouled. With 2.20 to go here in this game. And Blakely at the free throw line here for the Panthers. Yeah, nice aggressiveness uh, there by uh, Jaden Blakely. Uh, she always brings a, a ton of energy when she comes in the ball game on both ends of the floor, and, and she tries to get the rim there and gets fouled. And had a nice little floater jumper on the other possession to score, so uh, she's brought some decent energy here in the fourth quarter for Belgrade. Coming out of the game for the Panthers is Hohenstein and Christensen as Blakely hits the first free throw to make it 33-58. And Panthers trailing the Harden Bulldogs right now in this fourth quarter with 2.20 to go. We'll have the boys game after about a 20 minute intermission as Blakely's second free throw is good, making it 34-58 now with 
2.15 to go in this game. Yeah, Belgrade uh, has been man-to-man -man most possession now as they uh, sub some starters out there in the 2-3. And I think it'll be all right here. Uh, they'll be able to match up with shooters a little better. Inside, five, lays it in off the glass. 60 to 34 now. Harden on top, under two to go in this game. Carlson just got caught on that uh, high side. They got it to the post. She was pinned on that high side, so easy layup for the post there. Uh, just couldn't quite move her feet to get back to reposition the body up and uh, uh, challenge the shot there. So Alexa Deming will be at the free throw line here to shoot. First free throw is on the way, no good. 1.53 to play here, fourth quarter. Panthers trail 60 to 34. Luxa Deming, second free throw. No good, rebound by Marie Five. Now walks over ice for the Bulldogs, gets it inside to five, back out here to Esp. Walks over ice, three pointer on the way, misses. Rebound tipped around, and the Bulldogs, Rivera comes up with it, but she traveled. Yeah, I got the basketball pinned up on her hair there. Yeah, she <laughs> just kept taking steps, but. <laughs> Loose ball, uh, you're right though, Rivera kind of lost it in her ponytail there, and so turnover on the travel gives Belgrade the ball here with 1.30 to go in the fourth quarter. Trailing against these hardened Bulldogs as Blakely drives in right hand, misses. Rebound, Carlson misses, gets her own rebound, goes up again. This time the ball is out of bounds, last touched by Harden, so it's gonna be Belgrade ball. Yeah, nice, another aggressive play there by Jaden. Great move, dribble from the top. Got body position, just missed that layup, but McKenna was there for the putback, just couldn't quite get it, and uh, still Belgrade basketball. This is another Christensen in the game here, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Bailey's younger sister. Here we see her on the volleyball floor in the fall, and now laying it in is Carlson here for the Panthers, making it 36 to 60. Yeah, nice pass by Megan McGinley over the top. Little high-low there, uh, uh, McKenna. Uh, Pinder and great pass by Megan actually just right over the top McKenna with soft hands there and uh, takes the easy turn for the layup Carlson comes up with the steal 46 seconds to go here in this one Panthers trail 36 60 Christensen drives baseline goes up and is fouled So Christensen the libero on our volleyball team will be at the free throw line here with 41 seconds to go now, is this her first varsity action? Did I miss that as well in my uh, she got a paternity uh, absence? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. Nice job with the P. <laughs> paternity, huh? Yeah, right? Isn't that what they call it? Yeah, yeah. You don't take maternity. Yeah. Leave, yeah. I don't know. It, it, when, I, guy. when I had to, you know, say I wasn't going to be at school, the no, only no, option you're, was maternity. You're, you're correct. And then some people said, hey, you're on maternity leave. I said, well, that was the only option I could put in the computer. <laughs> well, I validate it. <laughs> Esp here on the other end for Harden goes up, hits a shot. And the gym erupts for Asp here on senior night. She hits that jump shot, 62-38. Harden on top as McGinley is fouled with 22 seconds to go here in this game. Megan McGinley is going to go to the free throw line. Again, stay tuned here for the boys game. We'll have about a 20-minute intermission. You know, it's going to be longer than 20 minutes. we got senior night for the boys here at Harden. That might be like a 30 to 40 minute intermission. Yeah, we might be staying in Billings tonight, Nate. Yeah. Especially if you said there's snow coming. McGinley, second free throw is good. And we're, we're not going cheap on rooms. Nope. We're going to make sure there's two beds in that room. <laughs> we're going to the Crown Plaza in Billings. 16 seconds to go here. Harden on top big, 62-39. Just running out this final 10 seconds. And up and under is five. Laying it in for the Bulldogs. Two seconds to go. Deming is going to let the final seconds tick off. So that will do it for the girls game. The final score in the Bozeman Ford Lincoln RV scoreboard reads the Harden Bulldogs 64, the Belgrade Panthers 39. We'll take about a 20 to 30 minute break here for senior night and be back with the boys game. But in the girls game, it was all the Lady Bulldogs tonight. I'll let you go ahead and break this one down and then we'll uh, close it out. Yeah, two components. Uh, uh, Duchesne, Carissa Duchesne, the senior, was just uh, just too much for Belgrade. She came out and scored uh, three straight threes for them. 
uh, finishes the game with a uh, game high 23 points. Uh, Hardy, who had about seven or eight steals on the night, uh, finished with 15. And then on our end, uh, uh, Belgrade just had too many turnovers. We're plus 20 in the turnover department. You can't win. Uh, it's tough to win games, and especially when you're down, if you continue to turn the ball over, it's tough to get back in that game. So we're just going to go half back and have to readjust and uh, try to limit uh, their best players and uh, try to be able to uh, take care of the basketball against their pressure. Again, so we'll take a little intermission here. It's senior night at Hardin High School, so we'll have the introduction for all the uh, senior boys and their activities as uh, the festivities with the girls took probably about 15 to 20 minutes. So uh, we'll expect to be back in about 30 minutes or so <laughs> for, the, uh, for the boys' game as we're getting some fan texters sending in. I can't say what they're talking about over the air. But let's go ahead and kick it back to the station, and we'll be back in about 30 minutes with the boys' game. So back to you, Ed, there at the station.